Hello everyone, welcome aboard the MV Walla Walla, and welcome to today's episode of Fairy Friday. I'll be your captain today, King CK, and so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. So to go ahead and get started, I'll list off a few facts of the boat. Uh, it is currently a vessel for Washington State Ferries and operates in the Puget Sound. Uh, the name of the ship Walla Walla is a translation to the, word, or to the term Place of Many Waters. It is about 440 feet long and about 82 feet wide. It was built in 1972 uh, I believe it was by the Electric Steel Co Corporation uh, in the Puget Sound, out in Washington, uh, um, Washington State. So we'll go ahead and get started. Actually, let's go ahead and start with the car deck here. So a little bit of information and backstory on the build. I have never yet built uh, the MV Walla Walla or a Super Jumbo class prior to this. The closest I had made was previously was MV Tacoma, uh, which is loosely a um, loosely one of the sister ships of. Uh, MV Walla Walla. And so uh, we'll go ahead and kind of start here on the tour here on the car deck. Uh, once again, just a few facts about the build itself. It took about 60 hours roughly of completion. Uh, and it was roughly, I believe I want to say about five days the whole project took start to finish. Uh, this is the third ship that I have made in the remastering the Washington State Ferries line that I've determined to be making. Uh, and as you can see here, it's got the double car decks. I've personally been on board this vessel. Uh, I'll put any photos that I've taken on the vessel throughout the video. Uh, we kind of refer to some of the locations on the boat. So, uh, once again, when it comes to Minecraft, you have to work with a lot of restrictions and a lot of tight spaces. So I did my best to be able to fit in the actual staircases and keep the deck plans relatively close to the real world version. Now through here, it's just mostly chairs and whatnot. Uh, you got your restrooms through here. Let's just say women's and men's, but unfortunately, it looks like my server's had some issues with the signs. Uh, once again, here's just the uh, bathroom location. And sorry about my cat in the background. She's being talkative today. Come on, baby. Yeah, okay. So, uh, we'll keep walking back this way. Uh, over here is the purser station and the crew lounge. I'll get those signs fixed. Uh, for the next video of this ship. The ship will actually be featured in the This Week in OIO update as well. You guys can look forward to where we will be showcasing some of the new creations and the new part of the, part of the main city and also showing some things that have came back into the city which you have seen in previous videos. Um, in here, little food court area. Uh, when I took the Walla Walla, I was going from Edmonds to Kingston, I believe, in the morning. Uh, we were going to go drive up to Bellingham to see a friend of ours, and this was during the spring break, uh, me and my girlfriend. And, and I remember coming in here, grabbing a little Egg McMuffin sandwich and a uh, bottle of cranberry juice, and sat in my car and relaxed and ate my sandwich. But uh, before that, I uh, ended up walking around the boat quite a bit, kind of getting a good good idea of it, because I knew I wanted to build it in Minecraft. But I, I've always liked the Walla Walla. It's a very huge ship, hence why I kind of pushed it off on Minecraft. This is probably the one of the bigger vessels in the Washington State Ferry Fleet. Out here is just the bridge wings uh, where you foot passengers to join. I ended up standing out here to get some photos of the high U, which you guys saw in the very first episode of Ferry Friday. And in here is more weather deck area, uh, just some benches and chairs and stuff. And we'll go ahead and go up, up here, which this is one of my favorite features of the vessel. Uh, on a lot of the vessels we, we rode on, we didn't get the luxury to uh, walk around on the top part mostly because on when the vessels were built that wasn't intended and due to security reasons but this one we were able to get to walk around and yeah we'll go ahead and take this sign out here but i'll go ahead and show you this is one of my favorite parts of the boat and i remember taking a photo of this is up here you can see the name plaque and then the and then the wheelhouse in the same picture and it's just something that i really enjoy building on every vessel that I, i've made when i did the queen mary 2 that was one of my more favorite features was building that name plaque right behind the main bridge in the wheelhouse. Uh, over here is where I put the steering wheel for the Archimedes mod. We were uh, testing to see if we would be able to move the ship. Unfortunately, she is past the uh, block limit. However, uh, you guys will be able to see one of the second movable ships that I've created, and that's MV Kenwick that's up there, and that will be featured in next week's video, uh, which you guys get to look forward to. Uh, and then the following week after that, we will be doing the Issaquah 130 class, potentially, or... Uh, possibly be looking at like the super class um, or one of the other vessels. So in here uh, is just an outdoor seating area, a little cover for the weather and whatnot so you don't get blown around by the wind. Uh, up here is the smokestack area. Went ahead and built that. 
And we'll go ahead and walk back down this way. I believe that should put us out over by one of my, my other favorite things that I made sure to make a note of on this vessel. And that was, there's a big mural of the Puget Sound uh, on like a raised text map. And so I did my best to kind of try to recreate the, the Puget Sound with a couple blocks to be able to see that. And then there's some magazines and travel brochures on what was in the area and what to do when, tra or when uh, vacationing in Seattle. And we'll head on down this way back and finish out the tour through the car deck over by the SAR station over here for the search and rescue equipment. And the Sol or for to comply with SOLAS standards. And we'll go ahead and do a big overview of the ship, get, get a good view of it. So that's about it for this boat. Uh, it will be available to uh, for you guys to check out on the movement server here. Hopefully, uh, within the next coming weeks, we'll be opening it to the public, and you guys will be able to see it firsthand in person, and potentially ride it around to some of the other ports that we're currently working on. But yeah, so that wraps up this week's episode of Fairy Friday. If you guys do have any questions about the build or some of the future builds, feel free to look, uh, ask them in the comments below. I'll make sure to reply to all, all questions about the builds and whatnot. Uh, once again, you guys get to look forward to MV Kenwick next week, and then we'll be determining what boat after that. Uh, Kenwick is currently the only other one that I have built currently, so the next one will be uh, built within these next few days. So, uh, other than that, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.